back again. This is lovely. Panadeta sa umaga, hardaneta sa hapon. So guys, so loud outside. We're using generator because the electricity is off and then it's raining. So sorry guys if you feel that I'm shouting, but I'm just trying to uh, make my voice louder in order for you to hear me. So guys, um, before we start everything, again, thank you so much for those who subscribe and stay on our channel. Thank you so much for your support. And for those who doesn't subscribe yet, guys, just don't forget, click the button below and click the notification bell in order for you to be updated in other videos that I'm going to upload. So guys, today is a bit special day. If you notice, I haven't talked in Tagalog nor Bisaya at, since the very beginning because um, I want to dedicate this video again to those who subscribe that isn't here in the Philippines or in other countries so of course English is the most efficient language that we can use in order for them to understand me and the Filipinos will understand as well of course so guys today we're going to do a harvest day a few moments later Ta-da! Alright, if you notice, my Kel and Koei is getting a lot of flowers and we have to harvest this one before it fall onto the ground because this is how you make your plants a lot or grow your plant or make your plants... What do you call this one? Oh my goodness. Um, 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 if you want to have more plants... If you want to have more plants, then it's very, very easy. You can have this one, so... Yeah, we just need to harvest. By the way, for those who doesn't know, this is Kale and Koei Pink Butterfly. And thanks God for just, I don't know, maybe uh, two weeks. I've got a lot of these things and these are the new babies. And we have to remove this one in order for us to, to grow a new one, a new, a new babies. So it's very easy, guys. You just have to take this off, which I'm going to do right now. And we're going to put it on, let's say, a nesting pot or a nursery pot. I already have some here as well. There is some, um, uh oh. This is actually a Kalenkoi uh, de la Boinces or Mother of Millions. And I do have some here as well. Uh, this is a pink butterfly, but there's, look, just one lift that fill out or fill down. And then there's a lot of babies. All right, and of course, we're gonna have a lot more of these plant just after a few weeks so I'm gonna start removing these new babies so it's just so easy just removed everything I mean not everything don't remove this very little babies if you can see if you notice these this one are too young so only the old one I'm just putting it on the nursery pot. You can just do that. It's very easy. Just remove them and then throw it on a nursery pot. And then just leave it. And then they will have their own time and grow its own. The root will look for its way into the soil. So it's very easy, isn't it? So this type of plant, the Kalenkoi pink butterfly, the Kalenkoi delacoinsis, uh, mother of thousands, they're very easy to grow and if you want to have more, you can have a lot of them after a few months. I guess it's going to be the same, mother of thousands will be the same. After a few months, you can have this kind of flower. So guys, so that's all. I'm not going to take everything because the other are so young. So I'll just take the older one. Okay, harvest is done, but you can see still, I have this, actually they already have some root, but for me it's just too young. You will see if it's a little bit old already because, you know, it fell off on its own, but if you, if this is a bit hard to remove, so I'm not going to remove it yet, I just leave it there. So, that, that's all guys. Actually, if you notice this, the last time, it was just very short because I just cut this one, but it, it grows a lot again. 
So I will probably uh, remove these two again and put it on a different pot after a few weeks, but not now because I don't have pot yet. But yeah, I'm planning to have one. Okay. So that's all guys. I just threw them all here on a nursery pot and as I told I mean as I told you before or before we end this one they will grow on its own and then the root itself will find its way how they can attach to the soil so we're not gonna put anything and for now since there's no I mean if you notice the the, the it, it's so dry so we're gonna mess a little when I go outside but of course the generator is on and I can't I mean you can't hear me so I'm not gonna do that I mean, I'm not gonna show it anymore, but I will go ahead and just spray a little water on it to make a little moist on the soil. So guys, that's all. It's very easy. That's uh, all the topic that we have right now. And again, thank you, thank you so much. Oh, by the way, uh, for the watering of these, I already have this video before uh, when I got, when I showed all my Kel and Koei's collection. So there are some care tips as well. I just put it on the top the i button just click that one or i'm going to put that one on the description description box so guys i hope you enjoy again thank you thank you so much for watching and subscribing on my channel and for those who doesn't subscribe yet just click the button below and click the notification bell also in order for you to be updated in other videos that i'm going to upload thank you again guys and have a great day